So today I'm going to make a pressure plate that when you step on it, if a humanoid steps on it or if a part hits it, it's going to go off. And I'm going to make it trigger a trap with a ramp and a boulder at the end of it. So let's go ahead and get my, my ramp going. And I am going to keep the collisions on and just make the ramp really big. And hopefully it doesn't get joined into the world. So 1570 by 120. Ah, that's a good size ramp. Yeah, it should be on the ground. It looks like it. And now I need a little stopper here. And that's what my pressure plate is going to release is the stopper. So I'll go here, block. And let's go ahead and make it bigger. So that it'll stop a boulder. And go up a little bit. All right. Now I'm going to rotate it. I turn my collisions off. I'm going to rotate it this way. So it looks like it's touching. Good. And let me move it down. Turn my collisions back on. There we go. And now we just need the boulder. Part sphere. All right. Let's move it up while we resize it. Scale. There we go. Move it on down into place. There. All right, now we need our trigger. And that's going to be our pre pressure plate. So here. And it's going to be a block. Man, they never put these where you want them to. Let me put it on the ground. I'm going to make this yellow. It's the only thing I'm going to change the color on. 4.2 and 4. That should be good. Let's just make sure we're on the ground. Where's our position? 2.5. That's good. All right. Now I want to rename some of these. This is going to be my stopper. And let me go ahead and anchor that just in case. Where's my anchor? Here it is. All right. Now we got a ramp. Let's rename that to ramp. What's that? That's our pressure plate. I'll just call that plate. Oops. And put an E on there. And this is our boulder. Good. And now I'm going to make everything. I'm going to select everything and group them. I'll just call this a trap. And go ahead and open the trap. Now I'm going to go to my plate. I don't really need this weld here because this is anchored. Let me go to my plate and I'm going to add a script. And the script, I want to get. I want to get the plate itself. That's my pressure plate, right? And script parent. And then I also want the boulder. I don't need the boulder. I need the stopper. Right? And that's the parent. And this is the trap right here. The parent of the parent of the trap. And then you can see stopper is in there. Say local function on touch. And this is my other part. Good. And the other part will be triggered if it's anything but what the plate is touching. So we don't want it to be equal to terrain. Right? So if the other part's name is terrain, don't fire this event. Everything else is fair game. All right, so we're going to say stopper. Can collide is going to be false. So the boulder will start rolling. And then I'm also going to make the transparency. There we go. One. All right. And let's hook up our on touch event. So we have part. Oh man, I keep getting this. What is this plate? Plate touched connect and on touch. That's nice. There we go. All right. Now what we want to do is we want to test it with a part two. So I'm going to put a part. I'm going to put a ball in front of it. 
That way my player can kick it and see if it triggers it. I gotta put it right in front because I'm not very skilled at kicking things. Alright, let's play. There, oh, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna go step on this. What could possibly go wrong? Ah, boom. I just put a damage script on that thing, it'd be good. All right, let's try it again with the ball. I'm gonna anchor my, not my stopper, my plate. I saw it move. There we go, anchored. And let's try this again. It's like, oh man, I better not step on that plate. Something bad might happen. I'm just gonna kick this ball on it. Oh. I went right by. All right, and there you go. Trigger that releases a trap.